Well, it's time to go around the horn and check in on some of the trending stories of the day. Josh Schaefer, Alexandra Canal, Press Supermanian. Take it away. Yeah, Shauna, we're taking a look at some of our favorite stories of the day over here. And I want to start with the strike and sort of the trend we're seeing in strikes. So, Ali, I know we've talked a lot about the Hollywood strike, mm -hmm. writer strike, actor strike. But another thing we're seeing now is potential strikes that we might see across other industries, right? So it's been interesting to see there might be a strike coming for UPS. There might be a strike coming across in your industry with some of the autos. There's a funny quote in one of the articles calling it Strike Girl Summer or Hot Strike Summer mm -hmm. or something, which I hot thought was strike summer. Hot Strike Summer pretty funny phrase for a not funny topic yeah. but it's been interesting to see that sort of pick up and how maybe groups start to rally around this right and you see it beyond Hollywood I feel like we've talked a lot about Hollywood and haven't necessarily broken down some of the other strikes that are happening as well and I think there's a strength in numbers mentality mm -hmm. here you become pretty emboldened once you see others going out there and fighting for certain rights and I think that is on top of timing here we're coming out of the pandemic where a lot of these on the co company side as well, have faced a heck of a lot of challenges. A lot of things were delayed because of the pandemic, particularly in Hollywood, right? These deals come around every three years. The last time we were having this conversation, it was 2020, where everyone across the board, actors, writers, directors, they just wanted to keep the lights on, but there were still these issues in the background. So now here we are three years later, and everyone's had enough. They said, okay, we kept the lights on. Now what's the next step there? So I think timing coupled with this very tight labor market that we're seeing is really ground for breeding a lot of these strikes. But then it's difficult on the company side to try and make a deal. And at least with the Hollywood strikes that I'm looking at, a lot of these media companies, they are bleeding money and they yeah. can't, they don't have the flexibility to make this grand deal for uh, for what these actors, writers want. So it's a very complicated environment right but now. But they're also pretty pressed because they need the content at some point too, it's right? A, because it's a push-pull. They do need the money, so they're going to have to figure it's, that it's part out. It's a who's going to cave first good. situation. Right. Of course. Yeah. So I, I think it's, it is a big, big, big year for labor, right? So mm -hmm. the UAW on my side of, this, of the ledger here, they're going to threatening to go on strike if they can get a deal done this fall with the three major automakers. Uh, here the UAW putting out a statement of support for the WGA and, this, and SAG, because they're all kind of in together. And why? We're in the middle of earnings season. I'm sorry, companies are making a lot of money and labor saying, where's our share? Look at the data, labor has, this is the lowest share of corporate profits they've ever had. That's how low it is coming out of the pandemic. They didn't want to step in any shoes. So it's sort of like, I can see why this is happening. Inflation kind of taming, but it was there, high interest rates. You know, blame Jay Powell. I don't know. But I mean, you know, it's just, it's just I, a I big summer for labor. Plays a part of it, though. When you look at a lot of different consumer kind of surveys, right, it's starting to come down a little bit with the most recent inflation print and in the last couple months. But generally, people have sort of felt inflation is higher than it actually is. Mm -hmm. And it's impacting them maybe at an even further level than some metrics show. I think it's, it's a time right now where people are very focused on those things and are saying, well, things are more expensive at the grocery store. It's impacting me. My job should match inflation. I just hear that all the time from right. people from friends, right? My, why isn't my raise matching inflation? Inflation was 9% last year. I didn't get a 9% raise. That's not necessarily right. how it works, but that's how people look at it, and that's what workers want. Your rent's going up you, um, right. for all of us. And then, like, again, again, we're in, we're in earnings season. We're seeing those multi... Like Netflix had a good quarter, right? They made a lot of money, right? <laughs> so where's my share, right? That's what, that, that's what Ben McKenzie people are asking about, right?